and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today is going to be all about the crafty fall finds that I want to share with you. So I went to Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and Marshalls and then I ordered some stuff from Amazon that you are going to love and it's all fall related. Halloween things thrown in here and there, but you're gonna love every bit of it. It's all crafty There's a couple non crafty things, but you're still gonna love them. So hope that you enjoyed this video First this gorgeous thing you're looking at here is actually a box. This is from Hobby Lobby Isn't it so pretty? I am in love with the sunflower pumpkin theme so I'm gonna use this for my fall embellishments in my crafty stash. So here's my first bag from Hobby Lobby. I got the cutest stuff. Okay, so I got some stickers and all the Paper Studio stuff was 50% off. So I grabbed these three sticker sheets and they're super cute in fall. You get two sheets of them in each pack. So they were 50% off for the Paper Studio items and so they ended up being $1.25 each kind of like you know Dollar Tree prices and they're so adorable so I got those and then I was so excited that they have these these I believe are new this year so these are um, die cut stickers and they are like really sturdy kind of cardboard die cuts but they're adhesive so there's 12 different designs just look how beautiful these are I can't wait to use these in my fall projects these are so pretty so of course I got two packs of those. These ones aren't really fall, but these were also new. And these are the die cut stickers. So I hadn't seen this design before ever and they're so pretty. These are the vintage ones. So these again are die cut stickers. So they have like a sturdy cardboard or card stock. And I just think they're so pretty. Perfect for like Happy Mail and making your own ephemera packs. I got three of this gorgeous ribbon, and sorry about the lighting, it's nighttime here. This beautiful burnt orange and cream ribbon, and I got three of them, because this is some of my favorite ribbon. I'll use it all the time for fall. And then I got these vinyl stickers, and they're so pretty. Here is what they look like. I wish I would have picked up more of these, but I think these are just gorgeous for like junk journaling. These are just so pretty to decorate a journal page love these. So there's those. Here's the next bag from Hobby Lobby. So I got these beautiful pie boxes. That's what it looks like right there. You get two to a pack. It's got this like give thanks here on the window. See just like that. So this is so pretty. Again it's the pumpkin and sunflower theme. You don't have to use this for pies. You could like fill it up with crafty goodies and mail it to a friend. But I did actually get this for a friend of mine that always makes me pies during Thanksgiving. I decided to get this as a little gift for her. She's actually a co-worker and I'm just going to leave it on her desk. Just like every year, I love to get the fun paper plates and napkins. I am just in love with their print this year. I just think this is the prettiest image ever. So I am going to try and do something with this crafty this year. Um, I actually got the paper plates for my husband and I because we love having these in the house. Even when we don't have guests, we just like using them. Like if we have like a slice of pizza or just have our cozy pumpkin candle burning and decide to have some cookies and cider, we can just use this. But I mean, come on, look at those beautiful prints. You could like fussy cut this out if you wanted. Oh my gosh. So I got those just for our house for cozy little snacks. These are so crafty to me and I love them. So this is the fall party confetti and that's what the confetti looks like right there. So this is super fun to put in Happy Mail. Um, you can make shakers with it. You could combine it with other sequins, but they're just a bunch of autumn sequins. So I think that's super pretty. And this is probably one of my favorite purchases of the day. It's these silverware holders, but I use them as pockets. So stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a project with these, but that's what they look like right there and I just think they're so fun for crafting. 
I also got these table accents. Oh my gosh. So these are so cute. I'm actually going to take them out of the package. These are just like giant die cuts. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. This is so cute. You could like put this on your journal page and do all your journaling on here. It's got the trendy little buffalo plaid bow on it. Oh my gosh. I want to go back and get more of these. These are so cute. So I got the pumpkins and the leaves. Why didn't I buy more? Oh my gosh. I got my favorite, these gift sacks. I get them every year. And as you know, I'm totally in love with this print. So stay tuned because I also have a project for this. I don't know if I'm going to make it into a video or a reel on my Instagram page. So. Um, I'm going to link my Instagram below just in case I decide to do it as a reel because it's a quick and easy project with these paper sacks. I am so excited to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. This is probably the least I've ever come out of Dollar Tree with. And this is two shopping trips. <laughs> so I kind of put the light off of it a little bit so it won't glare. But I hope it's not too dark. So let me start out with the fabric. They have some really cute um, Halloween and fall fabric. I think for the fabric, I will cut it open and show it to you. So that way you can see the whole print. So here's the first one. It's an orange with pumpkins on it. It's so pretty. This one is so cute. It has mushrooms and leaves on it. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Isn't this so cute? It's the little orange trucks. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. This one's so pretty. It's the sunflowers, of course. Here's my favorite. So it's the orange and gray plaid. It is so pretty. I love this. I want a sweatshirt made out of it. I want a dress made out of it, a shirt, um, a hair bow. I think it's so pretty. And I want to make a journal cover out of this. This one is candy corn. They had more Halloween ones um, that I didn't pick up because I think one had spiders. No, thank you. And here's this cute little black cat. I love the orange fabric. It's so pretty. I think these are so fun. I'm going to probably use the Halloween ones as like um, to cut in strips, maybe to tie around journals. So I think those are so much fun, so beautiful, and you could do so many things with them. So next I'm going to show you the stickers. Here's these ones. These are dimensional and these are just like the little decorative pumpkins. So I just got one of those and then I saw this one last year. So they had it back this year and these are also dimensional. I love the little truck and this envelope and the sunflower and the pie. I love all of it. It's just so cute. These ones are also from last year but I think they are so cute. So this one here has like a little latte mug. And all these designs on there. I love the candle. And they have like a, a faux stained glass look to them. So I love these. I got both of those. And then I think these are new. I'm not sure. But these are rub-ons. So those will be super fun. And then my favorite of them all are these. Oh my gosh. These are so beautiful. These are also rub-ons and I'm going to show you a project that I plan to do with these. These remind me of something the artist Stephen Duncan would design. He designs for Cartabella. He used to ex he used to design for the company October Afternoon, which is like one of my favorite paper lines ever. And that's what these remind me of. Look at how whimsical they are. I think they're so pretty. So yeah, I'm excited about the rub-ons for sure. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I love greeting cards at Dollar Tree. So Marie over at Crafty Girl, and I'm sure you all know and love her already, um, she did a really fun project on her channel using the greeting cards from Dollar Tree. So I have a stash from last year, so she'd been talking about it and kind of showing them on her channel. and. I just could not wait anymore. I'm trying to not to buy a lot of stuff, but so I was so excited because they, my Dollar Tree was stocked with so many beautiful cards. And the key is to look at them in a different way other than just a greeting card. 
So it's actually like a little work of art. And I talk about this all the time on my channel, how you can look at things in a different way. And that's what you're going to see in a minute for my Amazon haul. And that's how I talked about those cute little matching game at Christmas time at Dollar Tree, how it's like the cutest little image and you could really level it up and make it into something so much more beautiful than just the little card. I'm going to link that video here just so you kind of get the idea. But again, Marie over at Crafty Girl had the cutest idea and she made like a October countdown or like advent with her project that she does for Christmas, which is her advent calendar bags. So if you've been watching her for a long time like I have, she's done these like every year for Christmas, but she did a Halloween one with like little chalkboard clips. Oh my gosh. Again, look at them in a different way or you could just get a bunch and send them all to your friends and family. That would be so fun so too. These are all Hallmark cards. Yes, Hallmark and they're at Dollar Tree. They come with an orange envelope with the embossed Hallmark right there. Here's the back, Hallmark. So most of these here were 50 cents. Some of them were a dollar, but I'm just gonna take you through them and I think they are so pretty. Again, remember, you can cut these down and use them as an image. You can make something really cute out of these. Um, you can make like an album with envelopes, just whatever your heart desires. I'm definitely gonna link Crafty Girl's video below because it will blow you away. It's so awesome. favorite this is everything I feel for Halloween like in one picture but I just love thinking about the cozy October night and leading up to Halloween how it's just the weather changes and my mom always made it so fun and they make it fun at school too I guess thinking about how you felt when you were a kid on Halloween and just knowing that you felt super cozy and then now as an adult you know exactly why because it was fall and it's just all the holidays are happening and I just absolutely love this. This is my favorite one and I want to go buy like 10 more. of all I got this three set it was like a three set um, shopping bags so here's the little one super cute here's this like medium size one and I love this one with the crow on the books and then the big one is where all my stuff is at so um, let me start showing you what I got I got these beautiful fall reusable cups they have a sleeve for each cup and it looks like this and they stick them inside there. So there are 12 cups, 12 lids, and 12 sleeves. 
and just look at that beautiful print. I've gotten these so many years in a row, just different designs. Um, and then also I love having like ice cold apple cider just on the go if I go shopping or if I go to Target or Hobby Lobby or something. But anyways, these are $5. I found these really cool Halloween paper bags. These are so cute. I'll open this one up just to kind of show you an idea. But I really love it because these are like sleeves. They're not like flimsy paper bags. They're actually sleeves. They have like an acetate window right here. So you could use these in your journaling. And you could like put stuff in there and it'll show through. I think that would be cute like on a page in your journal. So yes, I got these. They call them treat bags, but they're really, really sturdy. So I got this pumpkin. The Haunted House, which is my favorite, and this spooky guy. So I wanted to let you know I am offering a bundle of fun Halloween paper bags and treat pouches, including the ones you just saw from this haul, in this adorable bundle in my Etsy shop. These are perfect for projects, junk journals, and anything else you want to use them for. I will have this listing along with a smaller bundle linked below, and as always, thank you so much for your support. These beautiful sunflower vintage napkins. Look how many you get. These were $5, and I'm going to try to do a project with these this year. Look how pretty. So I did get those. And then look at these mugs. Oh, my gosh. It's this little fall girl. Isn't she so cute? With her little pal right here, the crow. I think she's so adorable. These Joanna Parker ones are so whimsical and cute. So here's mine. I'm gonna drink some apple cinnamon tea in here and I can't wait. And then let me show you the other one. Here's my husband, David. <laughs> he has his little buddy right there too. Isn't this so cute? So yeah, I got these two adorable fall mugs and I can't wait to display them and use them. Okay, so I can't wait to show you here what I got from Amazon, starting with this gorgeous vintage composition notebook. So this is actually designed by Crafty Girl. I love supporting fellow YouTubers, um, their Etsy shops. This happened to be a design that she had available on Amazon and she's got like a ton of composition notebook designs but this also has that like buttery texture. It's got the lined paper I can't wait to fill this up with some fall and autumn journaling and it's got that awesome design on the back but this is just so nice quality and again I love the texture of it so pretty so I'm excited to have this so also from Amazon I got some greeting cards and so this one here is by Susan wing it and I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so I can show you isn't that just so pretty I love it so much this could be like a cover of a journal. This doesn't have to be a greeting card, but you can totally use it as a greeting card. And these are actually Halloween cards, but you can use them for fall or Halloween. So they just come unfolded, but like here's how it is. And it's scored down the middle and you can do anything with this, kind of like the Dollar Tree ones. So got these I'm not going to take them out of the plastic but here's these greeting cards the vintage image I think they're so pretty I'm so excited to show you this next one because this is so awesome I had like stumbled across this somehow when I was searching for bohemian decor and I don't know how I fell down this rabbit hole but I did and I ended up getting a bunch of like gallery wall art I guess like it's it's like temporary gallery wall art but you guys look at what it is all it is to me a paper crafter is a bunch of Halloween ephemera so here's how it comes you get two huge stacks I mean look how much you get of these like pretty much just like postcard kind of things but they're just decor so you can use them for like album covers ephemera you can mail these to pen pals I'm so excited to show you what they look like and then you get like this whole sheet of I'm assuming 
repositionable tape, but I'd have to try it out. So I'll just save that for like a future project. But I want to show you. So I got this pack and this pack. So I'm going to show you this pack first. So I'm just going to take the sleeve off. So these are meant to be like wall decor in like a gallery style. So I'm going to link these below so you can go over and check them out. And they have like pictures on how you're supposed to use them. But hello, I'm just going to use these as journaling cards or album covers or something like that. I think these are so awesome and I'm so glad I discovered this. But some of them are really, really artsy like this. And then some of them are photo real like this. But these are actually like sturdy, really sturdy, matte cardstock. Look at that matte finish. So nice. So I seriously can't get over this. I'm going to link that set below wasn't it amazing and I wish you guys could like feel it because it's so nice quality and it's got like a vintage matte like filter on it I don't know but here's this set and here's the little removable stickers so these have more of a picture feel although they are cardstock but it's almost it's just like that poster board kind of finish it's not like that vintage matte finish. These are more um, kind of, these feel more, I guess, poster boardy. I don't know how else to explain it. enjoyed this haul I had so much fun shopping for these items so thank you again so much for watching I'll link everything possible below that you see here and that way if you liked it you can go over and get it for yourself so stay tuned for upcoming projects using these fun items and I'll see you then thanks for watching everybody bye